Should I put this whole bottle? No. We should have waited on that. Anything acidic should go into the onions. I never do it that way, but no? okay. everything I suggested, Danielle denied. I'm putting some soy sauce in there. No, because we got brown sugar molasses. I just don't think she knows how to make a good barbecue sauce. Kayla, what's up? The sauce needs some flavor. Like, I feel like it needs a little acid, or even the Dijon would be nice in there. Dijon, I think I'm OK with that. It, but let me get a group opinion. Dale? What? A little bit of Dijon in the sauce, is that OK? Yes, Dijon's fine. Julie, are you OK with that? Um, yeah, very little, though. Very little, Danielle, a little bit? I can't agree to put Dijon in a barbecue sauce. OK, then we're not doing it. If we can't get a group consensus, we're not doing it. Come on, because one person didn't want it, it didn't go in. Over on the blue team, their barbecue sauce is also a sore point. Oh. Oh, yeah. It needs a little sweetening. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And just take that acidic edge yeah. off of it. Totally. Uh, we need help on the sauce, Tamara. OK. Chef Michael says it's acidic. Yeah, but once it, I've made this 100 times, once we, in this size? Yeah, uh, like in these same components, yeah. In this size? Not this, this size one. is completely different. And you're downstairs grilling soon, so it's going to have to be done soon. 60 minutes has elapsed. You have now 60 minutes left to cook 151 steaks for some very hungry troops. All right, what do we have in here? A barbecue sauce. That tastes raw. Wow. I would speed this up. Higher heat, divide it into two pans going at the same time to reduce that right now. Otherwise, you're going to have just tomato sauce on yeah, top of a steak. And I wouldn't want to eat that. Claudio told us what we already knew. We were not off to a good start. OK, what's going on, guys? What was the feedback? Danielle, can we fix this, yes or no, or are we botching it? Danielle, comments, please. Be honest with me. I need the It's not how I would have cooked a barbecue sauce, and I said that the whole way through. Can we fix this, yes or no, or are we botching it? I don't know if we can fix it. But we'll try. Work with each other. Come on, guys. This is for the troops. Along with the sauce, each team is prepping two sides to serve with their steaks. After I blanch Brussels sprouts, throw them in a bin, that is soap in it. Oh, my god. And I'm thinking, ooh, boy. So it turns out our bin had soap in it. That's what? Half of my Brussels sprouts are now in soapy water. I can't believe we lost those Brussels sprouts. I'm so worried that we just prepped all these Brussels sprouts and there's not enough Brussels sprouts. There's a whole thing of potatoes still over there. I need to get those potatoes out. We have enough potatoes, Julie, OK? Kayla has made the choice to no longer prep potatoes. I'm going to keep doing them. No. Done on potatoes. You're done on potatoes. And I know this is a mistake. Let's get this going. Get those Brussels sprouts in the oven. We don't have that many prepped yet. Pino! OK, hold on. We don't have enough Brussels sprouts. What can we throw in the Brussels sprouts? Some kale? Kale? Quickly, I'm thinking. Beans, let's put beans in it. I need to add beans. Yeah. Okay, one more scoop. You have now 30 minutes left, so the steaks better be on the grill soon. Let's get those steaks on. Danielle, how are you doing, hon? Morale is up. You betcha. Woo! OK, what's happening here? We're just starting to cook off our steaks. Whose idea was to dip this in the hot sauce and then grill it? Was that your original idea? No. And so why did you change it? Because barbecue sauce was not cooking down quick enough, so yeah. we are actually grilling it off. You don't have a lot of time. Yes, chef. Oh, boy. Here they come. Oh, Here they come, you guys. I'm just so honored. I mean, we're cooking for troops, people that put their lives at risk every single day. Holy Toledo. What are you making? I'm just making a quick little bourbon sauce. Kayla, I don't think we should bother. Too late to do this already. If it comes together, it comes. If it doesn't, it doesn't, OK? It's not going to. You started it five minutes ago. You have to move one of these so I can get gloves. Yeah. You can ask nicely. You could listen to me the first time. I'm in the grill tent, and all I can hear is bickering. You haven't been listening to me this whole thing. I have. Actually, no, you haven't. <laughs> it sounds like an old married couple in there. Because what happened to that sauce that you were making? I threw it out because we don't oh, have time. Oh, right, because it wasn't finished. We're trying to get something done, and that something is feeding 151 people. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Go, 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 go. I got this, I got this, I got this. Service starts now. 100.
151 soldiers will receive a steak dinner from both the red and blue teams and vote for their favorite. Hello. There you are. If either team runs out of any food, their vote automatically goes to the other team. There you go, sir. Thank you. The red team is serving roast potatoes and a Brussels sprout and bacon hash with their steak. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We meet again. While the blue team is pairing their steak and barbecue sauce with Brussels sprouts and beans and a couscous salad. Couscous salad. Thank you very much. You are. Enjoy. Blue's the way to go. Woo! Go blue! <laughs> Go Blue! While the Blue Team service is fast and confident... Thank you very much. Have a wonderful ...Kayla day. is giving her steaks a last-minute sear on the flat top. Get it a little hot for you. And it's holding up the line. Can we speed this along? Kayla, we need the line to move, so no more grilling. Just do it. Yeah, you got it. They swung you down over there? A little bit. A little bit? Once the troops receive meals from both teams, they head into the dining area. This Brussels sprout bacon thing is delish. I'm really enjoying the steak. <laughs> Medium rare, you got it. It's partway through service, and the red team has gotten their speed under control. Thank you. Kayla. Yeah? I'm worried. This is all we have left. You have three more plates. My stomach is sinking because I know that every single troop member that does not get Brussels sprouts on their plate is an automatic vote to the blue team. If you're not a Brussels sprout eater, we won't be offended. Brussels sprouts out. Brussels sprouts are out. I know that this is going to cost us the challenge. Could we give you guys extra potatoes? Um, Kayla, that's not a great idea. I knew we weren't going to have enough potatoes, and we told Kayla that. We're almost out of potatoes, too, by the way. <laughs> Hi, how are you? And she just said, just keep smiling. That extra pan would have been perfect. Julie portioned them. So Julie was completely 100% responsible for the potatoes. Kayla, when I wanted to do the extra potatoes, this is why. The last of the potatoes, Kayla, we're done. Hey. I'm very sorry, sir. I don't have any more slides to give you. I apologize. Come on through, guys. Don't be shy. Come on through. Oh, they're finished all their sides. Oh, oh, they ran out. I really hope you guys enjoy our sides. Yeah. They're lovely. <laughs> oh, what the They ran out of sides. Choose the team who has some sides. In my opinion, the red team had hit the steak bang on. I'm going to have to say the blue plate. I thought overall it had a lot of flavor. I hear that there was a little problem. Choose the team who has some sides. I'll be right back. Excuse me. Blue's the way to go. Blue's the way to go. Just when I started getting some confidence. Pino, Pino, I need you down here right now. So I run down. I've had a complaint. It's cold. It should not be served cold. Replated. Fresh vegetables, fresh couscous. Very sorry, and chef. ASAP, OK? Hustle, hustle, hustle. This is one cold steak that's come back. But how many did we send out like this? Is that hot enough? We're going to lose this competition because we're sending out cold steaks. It's embarrassing. Thank you, Pino. Excuse me. One fresh hot steak. Thank you very much. Please enjoy it and accept our apologies. OK, let's clean up. Now that service is over, the judges canvass the troops for their comments. How are you feeling about the food in general? It was, good. It was really good. Fantastic. So the blue team? Yep. We a lot of vegetables. And what did you think of the, uh, the red team here? It was just a little bland. Like, there wasn't a lot of flavor. Do you think that both the blue team and the red team should go behind enemy lines for doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Lothian. Yes. So which one do you prefer the taste of? The red team did an amazing job on the steak. I like medium rare, and they absolutely nailed it. But what I really like on the blue side is what they did with the couscous and the beans. <laughs> Red team, blue team. It's time to find out which team's dish most impressed our Canadian heroes. Will it be the red team's steak with roast potatoes and Brussels sprout hash, or the blue team's with couscous salad and a Brussels sprout bean mixture? The votes have been counted. The winning team with 107 of 151 votes is Come on. Come on, Blue. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. How the hell did they get 107? When I hear that the blue team gets 107 votes, it's like salt on a wound. <laughs> <laughs>